coming up on today's episode of Airborne Special Edition. The LSA business shows little sign of slowing down and the most cost-effective airframes are getting much of the attention and that includes the versatile two-seat Bushcat. Aerosport's primary location is in Illinois, but a recent expansion has also brought them down south. Welcome to the special edition of Airborne. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. As we work our way through the light sport aircraft industry, it's impossible to miss that certain aircraft attract certain people for different reasons. But if you're looking for cost effective and simple, you've probably come across the Aerosport Bushcat. And if you haven't, maybe you should. A Rotax powered two seat side by side LSA, the Bushcat uses the best of the older ultralight style construction methods along with some significant updates to create a very solid high wing machine that won't break the bank. Best of all, for those of us who love our big meals, the cabin width is generous and the headroom is pretty good too. Aerosport is run by the team of Daniela and Jeremy Canole. Daniela explains why they chose Florida for their new flight school and why bush cats are great for teaching. Daniela, first, tell us a little bit about your operation. Sure. So our company is named uh, Aerosport, and we're the official U.S. distributor for the Bushcat, which is uh, the aircraft that uh, you may see in, in the background behind me here. Basically, the Bushcat is a South African bush plane, as you mentioned earlier, and it is uh, uh, does fall within the light sport category. Um, the aircraft is available also as a kit. The Bushcat tends to be just an, an incredible all-around aircraft, not just for the purpose of uh, flying in the bush or the backcountry it has that stole capability to be able to land and, and take off in any sort of terrain. But because of the side-by-side -side seating that it does have, it does allow for it to be used uh, in a training atmosphere. So for training purposes, the bush cat is incredible. It definitely can handle the student beating and all of those things as it can handle sort of the backcountry flying as well. Uh, so because of it being so, so multi-purpose, we've basically created our own flight school. Our home location in Illinois has been around for several years. We also have a sling light sport aircraft in our flight school that we use as well. Uh, we are a dealer for sling aircraft as well up here. So we're able to offer sort of that low wing and the high wing portion as well. Two different type of aircraft, two different type of flying. So the flight training has been pretty successful for us up here. And so we've recently expanded down in Florida, like you mentioned earlier, and mostly to expand that flight training to open up that flight school in DeLand, Florida uh, at the DeLand Municipal Airport. Uh, currently we only have a Bushcat so far, but we are hoping to add on to the fleet there as well. Boy, DeLand was a interesting selection. Um, we've been watching that airport grow over the last couple of years mostly due to the association with the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase and Jana Phillips efforts out there. And that airport's turning into a bit of a sport aviation mecca, so it appears to be a really inspired choice on your part. Yes, it is. And we've uh, been a fan of DeLand since the beginning of the, um, the DeLand uh, Sport Aviation Showcase that Jana organizes. And uh, we just kind of knew that that was the place for us to be. Um, and so we were able to acquire a 7,000 square foot building uh, or hangar at the airport, which we just recently purchased. So we're hoping then to make that uh, another successful location for us, especially for the flight training, but also provide any general aviation maintenance. We've got an APIA there on staff. The Bushcat seems to be maximizing simplicity and cost effectiveness it certainly seems like a fairly sturdy offering. How is it uh, holding up in a flight training environment, which is about the most abusive way you can treat an airplane? Yeah, absolutely. So the Bushcat uses the Grove landing gear, which is manufactured in the US and Grove is a popular uh, option for some other competitors of ours. And um, it, it offers sort of that, that sprung type of landing gear. Um, so as far as uh, the, the student beating of the landing aspect, it's uh, phenomenal, tough, tough as can be. The nose wheel, you can say that there's traditional airplanes that always suffer a little bit from the nose wheel portion of the student landings and so on. It was redesigned years ago um, 
when we did notice that it was, it never really failed, but it just started showing a little bit of a bend. So the manufacturer jumped on, so on it right away, redesigned it, and that front nose fork is just solid. I mean, there is no breaking or bending that one. Coming up after the break, we find out what it takes to build a bush cat and how long it might take. AirVenture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco kitchen. An upscale dining experience serving farm-to-table American-European fusion cuisine. Experience AirVenture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you can build IKEA furniture, then Daniela says you can build a bush cat. Tell me about what it takes to build a bush cat. Um, obviously, with this kind of technology, things are a little simpler and faster and easier and so forth. But for Joe Blow out there who's never even thought of building an airplane and is trying to go low complex but high performance for the dollar, i.e. very cost effective, they see something like this and kind of go, yeah, I might be able to do that. Well, can they? How do they how, and how do they? Absolutely. I mean, it's been proven that the airplane can be built in, I believe, 27 days was the record by two people in Australia. Um, this airplane is mostly an assembly type of aircraft. So it's a tubular aluminum structure that gets bolted together. So what that means is there's no welding required, no sheet metal work. I sometimes refer to it as it's kind of like building IKEA furniture. <laughs> where you take part A with part B and you put it together with bolt C. And um, that's even how easy the uh, instructions are. Uh, the, the assembly manual is very easy to follow. It's a simple build. It's 350 to 400 hours to build this aircraft. Um, the fabric comes in different colors, pre-sewn. So the only portion of adding the fabric is just doing some lacing. So if you know how to tie your shoe, you know how to <laughs> put the fabric on this aircraft. So. There's no doping the fabric or heat shrinking it or painting it. It's all done. And you now have uh, a maintenance facility in both the land uh, and up north now. Is that correct? That is correct. So aircraft maintenance is another part of our business. And uh, in Illinois, we are limited to the light sport ma uh, maintenance. Um, there's another maintenance shop here at the airport um, that does the GA portion of it. But in Florida, we have the flexibility and uh, we can pretty much um, do all sorts of maintenance, not just light sport. Excellent. So what's next for you guys at this point? I mean, it sounds like you're building a little bit of uh, an empire between you and your husband. Well, we're trying to certainly, you know, the bush cat side of things keep us busy because we do represent the factory here in the United States. So we're doing all of the factory builds here in the United States for our U.S. customers. So as you can see behind me, there's a few things happening here. There's a few builds going on at the same time. So we're trying to get a couple of planes out. Hopefully one of them is going as far as Alaska. We're keeping busy with that portion of the business and staying, you know, busy with that. But we sell a lot of kits. So we offer a lot of builder support for that and then you know with your general aircraft maintenance also keeping us busy and we're hoping that in florida or even up here we can also do some builder assist programs for those people that want to do you know building their own uh, kits and, and have us supervising it for them did you know the bush cat by skyreach is available as a certified light sport aircraft and can be extensively customized to be the bird you want more news on the bush cat after the break. 
When adventure is calling, the Bori by Errol Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. As we wrap up this special edition, Daniela reveals what's next for Bushcat. And finally, anything new on the horizon for the Bushcat line or anything we might hear from, uh, from you by Oshkosh time? By Oshkosh, probably not really uh, so much. We've, we've done already so many recent improvements on the aircraft to make it even more incredible than it already was. The larger empennage is providing so much more of a horizontal vertical stability to the airplane. It's probably the most tested light sport aircraft out in the market. And, and I think that we can honestly say that uh, the manufacturer has taken that to the extreme to make sure that it complies with ASTM crossing all T's and dotting all the I's. That's been a huge effort put into place. So uh, one thing that we're looking into is possibly expanding that experimental market where the aircraft could possibly have a higher gross weight, but that's something that's still in the works that we won't have ready just quite yet by Oshkosh. For folks who may be interested in uh, the flight school, the maintenance shop, or for that matter, Bush, Cat, or Sling, how do they get a hold of you? Pretty simple at fly-aerosport.com. That'll link you to both locations, both contact informations are on there, information about the sling. And, uh, you know, one thing we didn't really mention is that we also represent uh, Canardia Avionics, so that we're the U.S. distributor for that as well. So we can provide you an airplane, we can provide you the avionics, we can provide you pretty much everything. So we like to think of ourselves as a one-stop shop. Daniela Canole and all the folks at uh, Aerosport and Bushcat Operations as well as Sling, we appreciate you spending some time with Airborne, especially with an Airborne Special Edition interview. And we look forward to seeing you at Oshkosh. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Airborne Special Edition. This show is an interview series designed to bring attention to topics of interest to the aviation community. This show is now a regular part of airborne programming. Your suggestions for interview topics are always welcome and feel free to comment on our social media pages for store ideas as well. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.